Hey guys, what's up? It's Designless, and guess what? It's another storytelling time. Get turned up to death! Okay, well, as I was saying in the beginning, it is a storytelling time again, and also, um, first and foremost, I just want to say right now that I want to say thank you, and also, for anybody who's new to my channel, please stick around you might enjoy the actual storytelling bit that i do as well too also i want to make sure that everybody knows you know if you're new or if you're old you just seen like a couple of my stuff but you haven't subscribed click that subscribe button right at the bottom right there description so like that will be coming out as well too now as i said it's a storytelling time so let's get into the actual storytelling okay well the story starts off like this me and my friend uh steve um if you don't know Steve, guys, if you don't remember him, he's right over here. Give a fuck what you think about me! Oh, I should be the devil's child, why you defend like an angel? Alright, so me and Steve, we go to this, um, uh, Applebee's that, you know, right after my work, get kind of hungry, kind of, you know, want some food, and so I got, I have, like, a little bit of money, just a little bit of money. I'm like, okay, you know what, let's hit up Applebee's. So I call up Steve. Steve's like, man, I don't got no money, but I am hungry, so let's go. So we go. All right, we're eating our food. We're chilling, talking about women and stuff like that. You know how we do it. And the thing is, the thing is, like, we go, and um, everything is just booming. It's going crazy in the, in the bar. It's going left and right. And um, he said that he's going to check out my channel pretty soon. So I was like, all right, cool. Check it out. Say he's busy. This man is busy. He's busy. He's busier than a New York Chinese man trying to deliver some Chinese food. All right, that's how that's how busy the man is. All right, some Chinese delivery dude in New York. That's how busy. But anyways, um, like I was saying, um, as this conversation is going on about the channel, my channels mostly the Butterbeer one, this one, and my relationships, his relationships, you know, his work, my work. All going like that, and this cute waitress passed by. It's our actual waitress, but she passes by, and um, he keeps on looking at her. And I'm like, All right, that's cool. Like, you maybe have some interest thing going on. You know, he's single now. You know, hey, do what you gotta do. You know, I'm not gonna hate on the brother, but do what you gotta do, man. Um, he's kind of shy a little bit, but uh, you know, so, so what I do is, is that I, I, I ask him, like, Hey, man, like, um, you know what? Got this plan. Got this plan real quick. And he's like, well, "What plan are you talking about, man?" It's like, "All right, cool. So, this is what you gotta do. All right. So, so the plan is this: one, you gotta go up to her. And you gotta say, "Hey, man. Um, hey, miss. I'm sorry, but uh, you know what? My friend over there, we bet, and we said that um, if he if he stomps you with a couple of card tricks, um, then that I win mostly. You know." You know, and you can put it wherever you want to put in there, right there, Steve. Like, wherever you want. It's like, cool. All right, I do that. So, 20 minutes pass by. He goes to the restroom. I go to the restroom as well, too. We wash up. We're about to get our check. And the girl comes through. And we're like, okay, all right. You know, maybe something might be happening right here. And um, girl comes through. Steve hits her with the line of the same thing that I said. But then at the, at the very end, he was like, well, you know. Because if you find out what it is, then I prove to him that basically science can rule over this magic thing. I'm like, first of all, uh, what? But okay, M maybe this might be an icebreaker for him to say science and stuff like that. He's a very super uber geek, but I love him to death, man. Love you, Steve. Well, anywho, um, that goes out as well, too. She's like, sure, all right. She gives it a chance. And the thing is, though, I'm doing trick after trick after trick, and she's getting it. She's getting it all. I'm like, dang, all right, cool. Like, I'm like, dang, maybe I'm not on my A game. That's what I was saying to her, mostly like that. And she was like, she's so proud of herself. So um, I go up to Steve, and he's like, thank you, man. Like, that's cool. But like, I thought, you know, well, like, man, I, I didn't think she would be guessing that. I was like, go up to his ear, I'm like, You're welcome. And another thing, too, as well, you owe me. He's like, what do you mean you owe me for? He's like, dude, I fumbled so you can go ahead and get that number. So I messed up on all my tricks on purpose so you can do that. 
So with that, he was just like shocked that I actually you know, you know, sacrificed my magic for this girl so he can get a number. He was actually proud of that. I was like, cool, man. So I leave. You see, I leave. You know, acting like, oh man, I should know my tricks. Dang, boo hoo, boo hoo. You know, like I'm all sad and stuff. And um, faking it though. And I go out. Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes pass by. 20 to 30 minutes pass by. He's talking. I'm looking in the, in the mirror, you know, like in the window, and so like that. He's laughing, so like that. Well, too. So like that. And he comes out of the door and he's smiling. I'm like, okay, all right, all right, maybe, maybe something might happen. Like I was like, hey Steve, like um, something. So like, I tell you in the car. It's like, okay, cool. Um, so we go in there and uh, we're driving, driving to his house almost. We just floating around so like that. I was like, all right, man, I gotta know how it went down. He's like, all right, so this is what happened. One, we're talking, so like that, everything was moving smoothly. And you know, she said that um, she apologizes for um, knowing your tricks and stuff like that because uh, her friend is a magician and basically he knows magic and he's good at it. I'm like, I am like, I just told you that I messed up on everything. He's like, yeah, I know. It just made me laugh that she apologized for it. I'm like, yeah, because that don't make no sense. Why would you apologize? Like, that's awesome. You did an awesome job. Whatever. Anywho, um, that was happening. And then all of a sudden he's like, yeah, that's about it. It's like, okay. Wait, hold on. Your smile went away. What, 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 what is up? He's like, okay. All right. Let me tell you what happened. All right. So um, this close. She's writing. She's about to be writing the number down. Really right now, and I guess something snapped in her head because she hits me with this. Now I tell you, I'm gonna tell you guys, things that he got hit with seem like bullcrap to me. But at the same time, though, hey, hey, whatever. So I get like that. I was like, okay, dude, like hit me with it. He says she's got a husband and a kid. He couldn't get the number. She apologized and said, I'm sorry, unfortunately. I have a husband and a kid and I can't. He's like, it's cool, it's cool. And he just, that's the reason why I had a smile and I just walked off and, you know, just like that. I was distraught when he told me that because I was like, dang, man, like if the icebreaker might have worked, you know, like, I, I'm sorry, like type of things. So I was driving to his house and I dropped him off and I was like, wait, hold on. But the thing is, like, you came out of the door smiling did you just fake that or no like like nah man nah i'm smiling and i want to say thank you for the icebreaker and what he told me at the very end was by far the best optimistic thing i ever heard in my life and i want you guys to take this as a grain of salt i actually wrote it down so i can actually say it nice and proud <clears throat> he said and i quote dude she was feeling me throughout the whole thing and just seconds away from giving her a number getting that number but she didn't because she had responsibilities that means I'm good enough to replace that dude for anybody with that girl hell yeah I'll take that and I and you just bounce you just bounce out the car after that that's, 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 that's the most optimistic thing I ever heard. That the dude didn't take the rejection. He was like, you know what? That means basically if she was, was single, I'd be in it. And you know what? People should take that, you know, take that positivity because that's the most positive thing I ever heard in my life. Anybody take a rejection for all my days. Like, you know what? She thought that I was second best. I'll take that. Like, who? I don't know nobody else that gotta shoot. People be mad, they be raising up tables, be like, man, fuck her, man, blah, 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 blah. So I just want y'all to take that, you know, the story. That's the reason why I'm telling the story is to, you know, keep you positive. And also that magic is actually a good icebreaker. It's just depending on who you were and stuff like that. And also, yes, she did have a ring as well too. He showed me basically like that. He showed me a little bit of a picture. He took a picture, I don't know what the hell. Proof, I guess. But yeah, I guess she had a Something like that. Now, that is my storytelling of uh, how an icebreaker, my magic icebreaker, almost got my friend a phone number. So yeah, 
And if you guys liked any of my other stuff, you know, any of my other like videos, magic, stuff like that as well too, it'd be coming up pretty soon. If you are new, like I said, if you are new, I'm happy that you stayed throughout this whole thing. And that if you do like it, please put that subscribe button right there. Just push it right there. Also, the like, thumbs up, you know. Also, a dislike if you want to. I don't, I don't hate on that either. It actually inspires me to be better at what I do. And also, put some comments down and tell me if you like this storytelling thing. And also, give me some suggestions of what next stories I should tell you guys. All right? Well, anyways, like always, you know, love you guys. Thank you again. And... Pieces. I'm out. Get turned up to death. That just did on camera.